gentlemen, congratulations. Season two. Good to see you again. Jonathan, season one was fantastic. Season two, you are front and center. How does that feel? Yeah, it feels, it feels, I mean, I knew that it was going to be Anthony's story for the second time around. It feels great to be a part of a show that, um, you know, the baton gets um, passed on and on and on. And um, it's a complicated love story. And it's, you know, there are so many different ways in which humans do love and fall in love and, and how and how intimacy can be told. So it makes sense. And I'm really looking forward to passing on the batons <laughs> and, uh, and being there to support going forward. What's the secret to playing one of the Bridget and Lads? Um, you know, get good hair. It is good hair. I, th I think it's the basically, basically, you need the makeup department of dreams that we have. Yeah. Um, and everything else falls into place. If you've got a quiff, you're basically a Bridget. Yeah. And a bit of sideburns? Yes, yeah, I feel like a little bit of sideburns yeah. at least. I Something to play fine. with. Yeah. Something yeah. to play with. <laughs> All you have to do this evening is remember what it is you're looking for. Someone charming. And handsome, of course. This show has been such a phenomenal hit. I mean, how has that impacted on each of you personally? I think we're only starting to kind of notice the effects of it like in person and have like a human interaction now. Because like when season one came out, we were in lockdown and we had to experience it just online or like just by getting the numbers sent to us of how many households had seen it and Very how many territories yeah. Spirit, yeah i remember when i was in costume and i ran into a coffee shop i got really told off do you remember oh <laughs> yeah and we were in the middle of filming and we were filming in the heart of london and i was like i just need to feel it <laughs> so i ran into uh, to get a coffee and i just got told off so yeah so i, th I think the actual experience of being in it is not as it's, i think it seems bigger to everyone else yeah I don't know. newton is an excellent judge of character <laughs> See? When you've got such a big hit on your hands, season one, mission accomplished, season two must be more fun because, I mean, you've got the confidence to kind of roll into it, haven't you? Yeah, it definitely is a sense of confidence, I think. Well, I, I, you know, I can only speak for myself, but I think the fact that everyone has sort of embraced the Bridgerton universe so wholeheartedly is such a lovely starting point. It's, it's quite a sort of complex show. It's sort of doing lots of different things at the same time. We, you know, there's always sort of a sense of, is this, how is this all going to work? How is this all going to fit together? But now that we know and that there is such a thing as a Bridgerton world where Ariana Grande plays on string quartets and where the colours, the colour palette is the colour palette and all of that, um, you, we just sort of have to sit back and enjoy it now and, and, and take everyone with us on the on the journey and yeah. not to mention that as actors we had a year or two years to get to know each other like yeah. we, we really knew each other going to season two yeah. we were like really close and we'd gone through that whole process so we got to hit the ground running and there was more bro time in season two yeah a lot more bro time in season which two. is always a good yeah that's true. <laughs> a good thing. so you three i mean you look like brothers do you get to hang out a bit when you're not working well, there's a lot of time on set where we are sort of waiting around anyway. So, that, you know, it, it's such a slong... A slong? <laughs> so <laughs> slow, a slow, <laughs> long... I just, we could shorten it up. It's five minutes. It's long. Slow, long... Into, it's such a slow, long <laughs> process that actually we get loads of time together to just sort of just hang out.